Hi lovelies, I'm Arielle and this is Maven Unmasked and welcome to your weekly reading for June 27th through July 3rd of 2016. Um, happy birthday to you, all of you Cancers out there. Um, but let's go ahead and get started with our reading for this week. Um, I will be using the Fountain Tarot, which is a new deck for me and a new deck for us here on the channel. Um, I received this deck from the lovely Andrew Barker of Tarot Angel 444. So thank you, uh, Andrew. Um, so I will be using the Fountain Tarot today, and I will also be using the Crystal Reading Cards. Um, so I just wanted to say that this reading will be for whoever watches this video, whenever they watch this video. Um, I ask that this reading reach those who it needs to reach. Um, and that the angels, the spirit guides, the ancestors of all of you who see this video be present with me here and now during this reading so we can get a message for our best and highest good for the week of June 27th through July 3rd of 2016. What's going on? What do we need to know? What do we need to be aware of? Okay, that's one going to be happening for us. Oh. oh my goodness, this is the one I want. Two. And one more for us. And you'll be number three. Okay, let's see what we have here. Wow, it looks like a really great week, you guys. Um, this is my first time doing a reading with this deck, and I'm liking it. So firstly, we have here the Three of Wands. And traditionally to me, the Three of Wands is all about expanding your horizons and expanding your ventures and going on after something new, looking out into the future, um, where do you want to go, and planning and thinking and um, like kind of devising like a five-year plan almost. Um, in this particular deck, to me, um, it's like you're trying to pull something out of yourself, pulling that creative energy out of yourself, um, trying to drag the courage from within yourself to do something, to do whatever this thing is that you want to accomplish. Um, but you're really, it's the kind of this tug of war, fighting, pulling thing. Part of you is resisting, but you're really, really now trying to just let go and just let it blossom and let it come out. Um, I'm really getting the impression this week not to struggle and the things that need to be pulled away, let them be pulled away and draw to you. This is also a message of what are you drawing to yourself? What are you bringing to yourself? What are you pulling to you by your thoughts, your words, your deeds, your actions? What are you bringing into you? What are we bringing into your consciousness, into your body, into yourself, into your thought processes? So be aware of that this week. The next card we have here, and this is a beautiful card, the Nine of Coins. So to me, this is that once we are able to bring out um, whatever it is that this courage that needs to come out of us, once we draw the things that we've been trying to get to come to us, and they're right there, we just need to just reach out and grab them and pull them to us. We will have what we've been looking for. We will have the contentment that we've been seeking. Um, we will feel more secure in ourselves and in our position and what we have. Um, I also think this is a message to be grateful for where you are right now and the space that you're in. Um, and just the imagery of this card as I'm looking at it, it's this woman and she's got a bird here a bird um that's just sitting on her hand and to me this is saying that we've been flying around for a while seeing what we can see you know especially with this three of wands here and now we've focused in especially with the second full moon in Sagittarius that we've had we gain that kinetic energy we've launched that arrow and now it's time to land on that branch and sit there 
you know, um, we've been flying around for so long. Now that we know where we're going, once we get there, sit and enjoy it and be content with it. Be happy for what you've built and for gaining what you've been trying to achieve and trying to gain for so long. Um, sit there and enjoy it. Take it all in. Really drink it in. And be grateful, have gratitude, and also to be appreciative. But um, I, I also get that this is a warning that you've been flying around, seeing all that you can see. Once you land here, stay put for a little while. Don't be so quick to fly off and on to the next thing. Because we have this Six of Wands here as our next card. And the Six of Wands is all about victory. It's all about, yes, we did it. Um, we've achieved it. We're, we're strong in our faith and our boundaries. Um, we've done everything that we're supposed to do. We're strong in who we are and what we've done and what we've accomplished. And now that we've worked so hard and are sure and steady in what we've accomplished, we can have fun a little bit and let go a little bit and play a little bit um, and not be so rigid. Being rigid got us to where we are and we should still be rigid and not rest on our laurels. But um, now that we have the basics down, I guess I can say, we um, can make the information or make this endeavor truly, truly our own. Once we have the basics down, once we have the knowledge down, we've, we've learned from others, we've you know, we know the basic recipe for chocolate cupcakes, but now we're going to make our own special cupcakes. We're going to add some cinnamon and we're going to add some brown sugar instead of just white sugar. We can make it our own. So I think this is the message this week to bring to you what you want. Be happy that it's here that you've received it. Recognize that it's here. Um, don't get there and you're like, it that, you, that you're not recognizing where you are, that you got to where you wanted to be. Recognize that you got to where you wanted to be. Don't be so um, often, far off into the future that you're already thinking about the next thing when you, that you can't even enjoy what you have right now in this moment. So let's get a message from the crystal reading cards. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, let's just get one more. Or is that all you have for me for this week, crystal reading cards? Is that it? Oh. There you go. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, the first card we have is Moonstone, which if you've been following my channel, if you know anything about me, this is my absolute number one favorite gem, Big Daddy Stone baby of all time. It is my favorite stone. I wear my Moonstone rings all the time. Love it. And in this deck, Moonstone is about cycles. So think about the moon. The moon goes in its 28-day lunar cycle, the cycles of a woman, the cycles of life. The Wheel of Fortune and Tarot are ups and are downs. Moonstone is also a very intuitive stone. It's a very go with the flow stone. It's very supportive of the divine feminine. So I think the fact that this stone came up in this reading with all of these beautiful cards we have this week, I'm just like, wow. Thank you for this deck, Andrew. Um, I really feel that we're on an up and up cycle. Um, we've been waiting to kind of come out of the stagnation. We've been trying to go, you know, to get up there and do our thing. Um, especially if you're a Scorpio out there, Mars has been in retrograde. Mars is one of the ruling planets. Now this affects everyone, but especially, um, Scorpio. Um, I am a Scorpio. I've been feeling it very, very strongly. Um, but Mars has been in retrograde for quite some time. And on the 27th of June, um, I believe, don't quote me on that, but it comes out of retrograde or June 20, excuse me, June 29th, I believe it comes out of retrograde and goes direct in the sign of Scorpio. And Mars is all about that passion, that fire, that drive, that's go get them. Let's get it done energy. So now it's time for that. And that is so much shown here in these cards that we have, especially we have the three of wands and the six of wands, both, um, are fire sign cards. The wands is the suit of fire. So again, Mars, fire, that drive, that go get them, let's do it, creative energy. So very appropriate. So I think this is a message that it is time, that cycle has come. And I get that even more so um, from the second card that we've received from the Crystal Reading Cards Oracle is Cuprite, um, or Cuprite, Rites of Passage. Beautiful. Look at that. 
rites of passage. So to me, this is definitely a rite of passage, especially the cycle we're going through is a rite of passage for us. And I really get the feeling that this is a spiritual endeavor and a creative endeavor whatever it is. Definitely, definitely, definitely this rite of passage energy. Now, um, in this rite of passage, I really feel like the cycle that we've been going through, the down, you know, things are slow and stagnant and we may be doubtful and wondering what's going on and having to find that courage within yourself to break on out and come back up the other side. And that's what we've done. That's um, a lesson spirit has brought through for us. And definitely in this dragging, this pulling, you know, this courage and out of yourself and drawing the things that you want to you um, and, and celebrating that and, and being happy with that and being content that you've done what you've, you're supposed to be doing and you are exactly where you need to be. Um, I think our message last week was about knowing that you have the right to exist and, you know, what you're bringing to the world and to the universe and knowing that and that's that being your purpose and that you chose to incarnate right now on this planet on this time for a purpose and for a reason. And I think this week is now that we've realized that it's putting that into action and putting that into practice. And that in itself, people, is a total rite of passage. So I'm Arielle, and this has been Maven Unmasked with your weekly reading for June 27th through July 3rd of 2016. Um, I hope that this reading has been helpful for you all. Um, I do have a crown chakra video up on the channel. I'm um, part of my Rock Your Chakra series. If you're interested in learning about um, the seven chakras, how to work with them, how to balance them, what they govern, different stones, incenses, oils, crystals, all of those good, good, great, fun things um, to help you better connect with and work with and balance your chakras and connect to spirit and to yourself and the earth as well. Be sure to check out my Rock Your Chakras playlist um, and the blog and check me out on Facebook as well. Have a great one, lovelies. Bye.